got that bag in tow. Uh, she'll be able to unbuckle uh, some of the straps that are holding those components in place, uh, retrieve some of the materials, and it is a, they'll be installing it one at a time. Um, the ground teams have plenty of experience with this type of work. This, is, this will be the sixth modification kit, the sixth time that we've used these struts to attach to a, a mast canister. Um, so they're prepared for uh, any of uh, issues or troubleshooting they need to do along the way. Um, and that work will be being done soon. Right now we're just watching the translation or the movement. Standby, can we check? You'll compress that mid strut, put it on your BRT, get it back in the strut bag. That straps two and three. Koichi, you can close out those pictures, and then we'll be having you help with cleanup as well. Okay, okay. While troubleshooting this lower strut, they'll need to make sure that there's no gap between the strut and the physical bearing. They'll essentially want to confirm that the two pieces they've connected are flush and not angled with an uneven gap. They'll also do a wiggle test on the same piece. Oh, this uh, this uh, but now this uh, uh, fire broke. Copy, Kuichi. Very nice views from American cameras. I was monitoring the motion. Okay, right. Uh, but uh, unintelligible. Okay, so the motion has started. Unintelligible to the camera. As we get that uh, MLI open, um, reminder to those of you that we've seen some MMOD strikes on the RFG, and so we want to uh, minimize touching any potential MMOD strike areas uh, and that uh, Z93 paint area. Okay. Let me, uh, let me know my uh, APFR settings. I'll make sure I'm good there. But APFR settings. I'm getting close. Oh, it broke. And let it. Yep, and we see that. First collect. I'm not going to try to catch the washers. All right, let me try and roll over a little bit more. Okay, here's two. This view outside the airlock as NASA astronaut Steve Bowen prepares to ingress, inches it in to eventually made it to the Nauka module. And I am. The experiment airlock slowly but surely moving over to the Nauka module from its original home on the Rosviet module. The the cosmonauts are on the Rosviet module doing some closeout tasks. They're removing some airlock tie rods, uh, closing multi-layer insulation flaps. That's that protective. Then yes. All right. Let's and there it goes. Excellent. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Just flies beautifully. If you're just joining us, we are 36 minutes into today's Russian Spacewalk 58. You currently have views on your screen of Dmitry Patelin and Sergei Prokopiev outside of Naiko Module at the radiator where they have released some restraints which has allowed the radiator to start deploying. It's currently not fully deployed and will be 
After removal of the final restraint, the duo will install temporary handrails that will... One in the direction of open. Yes, just two pumps and the accumulator. It works as a, as a compensator and uh, the... Now regarding translating back to the MLM uh, towards plane one, what do you think? Uh, what works best? Is it better to move through the airlock uh, or is it better to take the same path through plane three? The airlock? Uh, well, uh, if uh, uh, we can secure ourselves uh, on the uh, ear adapter handrails, uh, I don't see any issues with that. And we are stuck in motion. You heard confirmation that NASA astronaut Steve Bowen has installed the second scoop onto the carrier and uh, Woody Bowen and Woody Hoberg has lifted it off of the carrier. There will now be several maneuvers with Hoberg on the robotic arm, and then he will arrive at the 1A mod kit work site. During these maneuvers, Steve Bowen will pick up the temporarily stowed crew lock bag from the port cart and reconfigure both of his safety tethers on his way. Steve and Woody will be in insulation in about two minutes. Steve, we see you at Woody's green hook. We recommend that you stow this on your red reel. We have Steve and Woody. We currently see NASA astronaut Steve Bowen and Woody Hoberg have released the IROSA out of the FSC or that flight support equipment. And Woody Hoberg is currently in movement toward that starboard truss SS. And we see Steve and Bowen translating or moving towards that same area. Again, that work site will be the 6S truss. And when you're ready, Woody. I'm ready, so can Right, so this is going to be body out, just reverse uh, the motion that we did, gotcha. which is uh, 60 centimeters. That sounds great. And uh, sloppy motion. Motion. Good motion. Following the uh, jettisoning of the seismic experiment, uh, Prokopiev now has jettisoned uh, the monoblock or stanch. Check the lock and verify the PRM is not uh, removable. Okay, I think it is well seated. It's not removable. Well, we're about to, you know, if we keep pulling it like that, we're going to be able to break ERA. Copy. Can you take photographs of the walk? Of course. And then when I'm releasing it, it's secured. Sergei? We should be able to turn a PRM. And go up. You can see uh, the coolant uh, at uh, the point 
where the leak was presumed to have emanated while the two cosmonauts work uh, to secure other equipment for the installation of scientific payloads on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. No. Uh, uh, a little bit higher. Everything? Uh, well, I believe the towels will not be enough here. It looks like it. Do you see it now? Do you see it? Well, we do not see from our camera, but we see it uh, from the ISS cameras. You see it? And you can see some extra uh, rotation. Yes, the shaft is rotating. Three. Four, five, six, 